All right, everybody. Let's get into a bit of a polarizing video here. I'm going to talk about one, why you shouldn't use Ulrich defensively, because in my opinion, as a defensive hero, he is absolute garbage, despite how popular he is and how often people use him in their defensive lineups. Um, I've found that uh, I can easily take Ulrich out and I can easily take up out setups that use Ulrich as a defensive hero uh, for some key reasons. Uh, two, you should never be stacking heroes of the same color side by side. This person here for 14.8 million might. Three green heroes stacked on the right side. They're using Ulrich in the center defensively, which is the best way the best setting setup for me in this like this is all like this is all setting up absolutely fabulous for me to take this person down um they're like if you look at it heroes and like stats wise their heroes are leveled up to 350 they've uh promoted them from five star to six star so um, as we get into this and as the video goes, you're going to see that I'm pulling up some of the hero stats from them on the bottom heroes have four passive abilities. These passive, the fourth slot on the passive abilities only opens up when you, um, promote a hero from a five star to a six star. If it's a six star hero, you have to promote them into a seven star for that passive ability. So this person's got all those types of uh, the fourth slots open. Like stats wise, these heroes are so much stronger than mine. And if this person had a decent uh, lineup, there's no way I could beat them with the, the heroes that I've got. But because of the way that they're set up, it's going to be an easy game for me. And you'll see results that cap in here, and I can win stuff like this on a regular basis. Um, even better that makes something that makes this video even better is the fact that as I started out, the board was not in my favor here. Um, we don't have a lot of red. We don't really have anything going on over on the on the right hand side that's going to help promote building rage for our heroes. Um, we're we're not in a good position here but we're gonna truck through we're sitting here trying to think about what to do um at this point we didn't want to use fox's special but we're kind of in a position where we had to um we didn't have any other real good options going on uh, we needed fox's special to come back around really quickly uh here i'm just going to stop this quickly um we needed Fox's special to come back around quickly because we needed to be able to get our defense back up after uh, the opponent's Ulrich fired off. Otherwise, as my opponents are taking hits, or as otherwise as my heroes are taking hits, they're taking strong hits. Um, Ulrich uh, basically puts links all of my heroes together, as you can see. Phoenix is the one taking a hit here, yet all of my heroes are taking damage. That's because of the linking that Ulrich does. Um, you can see how there was a critical hit that happened. That is like, um, that's like an added hit that, that hits even harder. And it's passed through all of my heroes. So not only are they taking 47 damage but there there there's 168 damage on top because of that critical uh we needed fox to regenerate her rage really quickly uh so that we can counter kind of how that's happening we're going to get the opportunity to do that we're also going to heal up which is great uh now we're we're on the attack here so what makes ulrich absolute garbage uh, when it comes to a defensive lineup uh, for one if you notice i'm using three red heroes so we've talked about how that's gonna hit the opponent harder 
two, we have a lot of red gems on the board. We've got a red uh, super grenade going on on that side uh, that's going to allow us to fire off all these red into the into the opponent. Uh, Ulrich's special links heroes. So if we're hitting red gems into green heroes, we're doing extra damage. If we've stacked red heroes and on top of one another to increase the damage that red's already doing to greens, means we're going to hit them even harder. Plus, because it's linked, we don't have to worry about the fact that red gems don't do a lot of damage to fox. Um, they don't hit phoenix all that hard. We're, we're going to use the ability for them to hit the greens hard. And it's just going to do a massive amount of damage. Right now we're struggling a little bit. We need our Ulrich. We need our Ulrich's rage to be filled off. And we really needed our Ulrich at this point in time. Uh, his special to go. Uh, because it lowers the defense. Which means for the, for the opponent. Which means we would really hit them hard for a lot of damage. We weren't quite able to hit them as hard as we wanted to here, but that's fine. Um, another reason why we're using Ulrich is because at this point in time, you just saw how the opponent's Ulrich fired off. We get to use our Ulrich special, which gets the counter there. Um, their, their special. Uh, the thing about us, when we're using Ulrich and when we have the linking going, we get to use it to our advantage when, because you know, uh, the opponent, the opponent's heroes can only hit us like once each hero. Um, and not all heroes are going to hit every turn. Uh, you can see this turn, uh, Fox has got a one by that little gun. Uh, Phoenix has got a one by that gun. Um, Obsidian has got a zero. Ulrich has got a two. Mars has got a two. Those are counters. The those are counting down as to when the the opponent's hero is going to naturally just take a swing at you. They're not using their special. They're just going to whack hit you once with their attacks, but with their normal attack. Um. So defensively, you're not when when heroes are linked. You're not hitting them with a lot when they're linked. Whereas offensively, as you just saw earlier, when you got a whole bunch of red gems on the board, if you can line up a board like that, man, you do so much damage. So we're going to use Ulrich. Here we go. We're using Phoenix. Look at all that damage. Requiem, all that damage again. At this point in time, we're just going to avoid sending gems into Fox. Uh, we don't want their fox to, um, we don't want their fox's rage to uh, allow her special to go off to heal. Otherwise, that'll ruin the run that we've got going here. So we can we can kind of manipulate that by making sure that we're gems are just working from the right side of the board over, uh, going into Ulrich or anything over on the right side. Um, there is one other thing that we've got going on here for us is that we use McCarty. McCarty's special um, has a poison. So you can see kind of the, the green little splotch mark on the heroes, uh, the opponent's heroes. That's a poison. It's to every damage they're taking a certain amount of poison damage. On top of that, we're using Phoenix. So Fe they're, they're taking poison damage. All of this is happening just every turn behind the scenes here and you can see it's helping us in the sense that it just fox died because of poison damage and look at that we won just like that we won and it wasn't that hard we didn't even have a good board the board that we started with um we just we worked the weaknesses that we we exploited the the defensive weaknesses and we use certain heroes to counter what we were up against and 
just like that. We won. And this is a this is the type of I can repeat this type of uh, result um, like 60, 70 percent of the time. You know, it's 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 a repeatable result when you're going up against a stronger team. Um, I love it when I see Ulrich as a center hero and I've got two blues next to him. That's one of the greatest setups because I can I can use an all green lineup at that point in time uh, or stack greens, you know, maybe use three green heroes uh, so that I'm not killing Ulrich quickly. But any greens that are going past him to hit the blues are doing extra damage to blue. And then when Ulrich's special lights off and it links, everything's just working to, to, to take down all the other, the opponent's heroes. It just, it just works. And Ulrich, as a, as a defensive player, just, he backs your defensive lineup into a bad corner. So there you have it.